Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I came across a magnificent statement made by the brilliant cellist Pablo Casals. Each second we live is a new and unique moment of the universe, a moment that will never be lived again. And what do we teach our children? We teach them that two and two make four and that Paris is the capital of France. When will we also teach them what they are? We should say to each one of them, do you know what you are? You are a marvel. I don't know that I've ever heard anybody say to me, you're a marvel. They say a lot of other things, but I don't believe marvel is one of them. And he goes on to say, you are unique. In all the years that have passed, there has never been a child like you. Your legs, your arms, your clever fingers, the way you move. You may become a Shakespeare, a Michelangelo, a Beethoven. You have the capacity for anything. Yes, you are a marvel. I challenge you who are parents to practice those words. Start using them. You will never know how that will assist them when they someday find themselves alone in a big, lonely, overpowering, intimidating world to know who they are, to accept who they are, to be who they are. Benjamin West was an artist out of Great Britain in years past. He tells a wonderful story of how his artistic skills were cultivated One day, little Benjamin's mother went out, leaving him in charge of his younger sister, Sally. In his mother's absence, he discovered some bottles of colored ink. And to amuse little Sally, he began to paint her portrait on a large piece of paper. In doing so, he made quite a mess of things. He spilled the ink across the table and down the legs of the table it ran, and leaving numerous splotches on the floor and the table, but he finally got it done just before his mom returned home. When she walked in, the first thing she saw was the mess, but she said nothing about it. Deliberately looking beyond all that, she picked up the piece of paper, smiling, and exclaimed, Why, it's Sally. She then stooped down and kissed her son tenderly. For the rest of his illustrious life, Benjamin West would say, My mother's kiss made me an artist. Now, (laughs) I can tell by looking. (laughs) Most of us are a little too mess conscious to pick up our child and kiss them, and I think that's tragic. And I fully confess to being one of them. For too long in my life, it made more importance to me that the room be picked up, that everything be kept neat and clean, rather than that each child would know who she is or he is, and to see beyond the mess and realize I've got a marvel on my hands. marvel. Those four simple words can do wonders for your child's sense of worth. Parents, your words of affirmation, love, and encouragement will help your children to know who they are, accept who they are, and be who they are. They are unique. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at Lifetrack.com. CA Life Track where life and truth meet The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada The original message Cultivating a life of self-worth was copyrighted in 2004 and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2010 by Charles R Swindoll Incorporated All rights are reserved worldwide.